Okay, this is Cole. It's about, what, our fourth meeting together, something like that, maybe? Around that, yeah. Oh, fourth, yeah. Okay, so he's got his MacBook out, and he's reading Harry Potter. Uh, we found a way to invert the screen, so he's reading it straight from the screen. Okay, off you go. The Boy Who Lived. Mr. and Mrs. Dursley of the number four private drive are proud to say that they are perfectly normal. Thank you very much. They were the last people you'd expect to be involved in anything strange or mysterious. Because they just didn't hold with such nonsense. Mr. Dursley was the director of firm called... Grunning. Very good. That's it. Which made drills. He was a big, beefy man with hardly any neck. Although he did have a large mustache, Mrs. Dursley was thin and blonde and had neck, heart had nearly twice the usual amount of neck which came in very useful as she spent most of her time craning over, sh craning over garden fences, spying on the neighbors. The Dursleys had a son called Dudley, and in their opinion, there was no finer boy anywhere. The Dursleys had everything they wanted, but they also had a secret, and their greatest fear was that someone would discover it. Cole, you know, you read that faster than I would read it. You did excellent, Cole. This he read it fast. Great. He read it fast, just like you with the word list. I yeah, don't know. Like it's well. like, uh, you know, there's there's no need for speed, you know, especially if you're reading for enjoyment. But anyway, that was, uh, that was wonderful. Yeah. Uh, you'll be a star on YouTube.